wrong with my retinal enhancement? What is up, guys? It is Grim here, Grim Gaming UK, and yes, I am finally going to play some Deus Ex Human Revolution. Uh, actually, technically, I've played some before um, on this channel, but this is the first time I've played it on the Xbox. And the reason for this, if you didn't watch my GTA 4 Part 3 video, was because I saw a game called Watch Dogs um, that's coming out. And it just blew my mind. It reminded me a lot of GTA crossed with Deus Ex. And I kind of thought, ooh, I'm already playing a bit of GTA. So why not play a little bit of Deus Ex? So here we are. Now, I've skipped the first part, which is when you're basically a human being. And I would do a quick recap. I mean, I measure most of you have seen this game. Like played it, right but uh, basically you're a security officer for Seraph Industries. You're about to go to Washington to do a major breakthrough on uh, human machine integration. And there's a break in at the lab. A load of your scientists are supposedly killed. I say that with air quotations. You are smashed through a plate glass window and shot in the head. So it wasn't your best day at the office. And so Seraph Industries, who basically makes... Uh, I'm going to ignore you, Pritchard. Fuck off. Basically, uh, Seraph Industries make uh, genetic... In oh, make enhancements. So you basically get fully upgraded with all their latest super secret stuff. And that's where we are. Basically, you've been pulled out of sick leave because there's been a break in at our factory. So, and that's where we are. Welcome back. We're talking Malik. Hey, Malik. Yeah, I'll go. Don't I know? Judy calls Malik. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Roger that. Anyone want to find out? Let's do it. Boss is already on board, arguing with the DPD's. Bad AS. I'm ready. Great. Then let's get airborne. I'm ready. Just, just do it. Oh, I love this game so much. Now, for anybody that wants to, just while these cutscenes are going on, I will natter. Um. Yeah, for anybody who wants to know, my Deus Ex history goes all the way back to playing on PC, the very first one. Um, which has got to be one of my favourite all-time games. Uh, easy say in the top five. It just it blew me away the openness of how it played, how you could challenge, how you could face certain challenges. I'll show you. Oh, well, this whole game is full of it. Uh, which... I really like it captures the old one the when they did the second one they made it for console uh, to be fair they should have just called it invisible war and left it at that because to brand it with deus ex and then leave it the way it was with so much stripped out Don't from the original I felt I insulting in. uh, very much like a uh, syndicate the latest Syndicate, at? which was an FPS, but they gave it the Syndicate name. Now, when you do that, you take something that has a name like Syndicate, which a lot of old school gamers would have played and really love the name. And it will conjure up, as all things do, when you look back on it, you tend to have more fondness, unless you truly hated it. If you like something and you look back on it, you'll be like, wow, that was amazing. I mean, I don't know. When you think of girls that you've known, you know, you'll be like, oh man, she was the best ever. She had fucking amazing ass, great tits. You know, she made me laugh, fantastic. You know, what you completely forget is the fact she was a pain in the ass. She fucking wouldn't let you watch the football, she wouldn't let you go out your mates and have a beer, whatever. You know, you forget those things as time goes on and you only remember the good stuff. Well, it's the same I'm with stuff like, oh, let's go non-lethal and we'll go close okay. combat. 
but just make sure those bad the same happens with computer games. You plans. forget the bad stuff. Like a lot of people go Call of Duty 4 was their there. was their favourite. It was fantastic. Hallways, Forgetting the fact they fucking the hated Danger Close, or they fucking hated, you know, so, uh, you Martyrdom, or they hated Juggernaut or whatever. You know, that stuff made them rage. Made them fucking the just the lose it. Uh, well, Stunga, sure which is awesome down. in this. So they just you completely forget that and. And you remember the good stuff. Go so when you then brand a game with that label, you better live up to that. Now, Syndicate didn't. Um, failed horrendously, in my opinion. But I think that's mainly because they changed the genre. Uh, I think, same with XCOM. A lot of people panicked when they announced XCOM because they thought, well, it was an FPS. And I believe the XCOM FPS is still coming out. Uh, oh my god, I've got the, exp the um, tactical and the exposure pack on this. But the XCOM strat turn base that they brought out was fantastic. It was an amazing game. Um, so yeah, this, I feel, does truly live up to the original feel and vibe of the original XCOM. And in some ways, I'll be honest, they surpasses it. I think the storyline, the storyline certainly does. Um, well, it lays a better foundation. There was no foundation laid for the first Deus Ex, so I think this certainly lays a foundation. I'm not going to bother to talk to anyone. I'm just going to crack on. So, just quickly, yeah, if you've got the, um, that doesn't help. There we go. Right, if you've got the explosive pack, you get all of this stuff. So I've got double barrel shotgun, silent sniper rifle, explosive packs. So you get all that good stuff. I want you. You got money. Also, you get 10,000 credits. You'll notice I've now got 12,000. Yeah, I could talk to you, but I'm not going to. Do sex all about opening doors and picking stuff up. Jensen, it's Woo! Me, Should be Francis. Now, there are all sorts of ways, and this is what I love about Deus Ex, all sorts of ways. Hello? Where am I going? Down, thank you, Jensen. Yeah, I think I prefer this one purely for depth. It's the... Let's just take him out. It's the fact that there's more about the characters. Denton who, oh, I can't remember his first name. If you know, if you can remember the first name, the guy in the original, um, Deus Ex, put it in the comments or something, because I seriously can't remember it, but I just remember it was Denton. Okay, just get these. But yeah, there wasn't a lot of backstory to it. Um, so this, I kind of, I think because you start off as human, let's put it that way, you kind of, you have more empathy for the guy because of what he's gone through. Uh, there's little touches which are quite nice, so I'll show you that in later playthroughs. There's a bit where, let's move this, um, they, there's an email. Uh, the fact that his, when he was unconscious and in surgery for six months, um, his dog died. Or they put his dog down because obviously Megan's missing, who was his ex. So stuff like that. And there, when you read the email, when you come out of the computer, there's a picture next to it of the um, of the dog that got put down. So like little touches like that. It's just it doesn't seem like a lot, but when you add them all up, all of a sudden you're like, you know, uh, where's the? There we go. Take you. Well, I'm not really worried about. It. I'll take tranquilizer darts and stuff, just because it's stuff you can sell. I never really use the trank gun, but right now this is just stuff that I can sell later on. Uh, I may will be on more than ten minutes now already. I may do this as like a whole whole playthrough. Now, I'm not going to hack that computer. The reason being is, I remember correctly, there's nothing on it. 
There's a guy outside the window that sees you. And then the alarms go off. I can't be asked to kill everybody in here. So. We'll do this all nice. And stealthy. <laughs> I also love how simple this all is. Here we go. And I think we picked up a nice chunky chocolate bar. Let's have a quick look. There we go, we did. Else this bit gets very boring as you wait for um, your bar to reload. Yeah, apparently his mate doesn't let me do this at all. I have just fucked his bro up and now he doesn't notice. So there we go. Take his friend out. Bomp. Ouch. I love those. Those little takedowns. Really set you for money. We get to... I may stop it in a second. I don't want to do too long. It's a lot to sit through. So I may split this one down to two. Again, I can't be asked to hack the um, computers. Which I do normally do. Because it's easy XP if you've got hackable ones. Now, let's have a look. Let's have a look. We'll probably do is get to the hostages, which will be about 20 minute mark, maybe. Um, and then we'll stop it there. And I'll continue it on. Come on. I'm waiting for these guys to split up. You can see on the little mini map to the left. There's all three of them bunched together. Uh, so, there we go. So, it's been off. Now, this guy will turn and walk back. Once he's done that, then we're good to go. I don't want to open the door until he's around the corner. Opening doors and that creates sound waves. Want a better turn? Turn? Turn. Uh, which will alert guards if you do it at the wrong point. So, let's go get this guy. Hey, dude. Boom. 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 Voila. My Kung Fu is bad. Oh, bottle of Jack. That's when I've completed the mission. Mm. Can Motor City rise again? And I don't really think there's anything else I want. Now, this could be a bit of a long wait because we're waiting for Matey Boy to come back. Come on, Matey Boy. Come on. Now, he'll come around that corner. And he'll turn and we'll hit him. I know, there's nothing here. We are not around this corner. There we go. Our sheep will go in close and hit him. More experience points. Sit down. Let's rummage through. Now, just purely because I can't be asked to wait for. There we go. It takes ages for that bar to recharge. And you don't just be. Set there behind him. Yes, the exciting world of me opening lots of. Oh, fuck it, I can live without any of this shit that's in there. Jensen, I just tried to unlock the assembly lab door, but my override codes are. I know, I have to do some hacking. No worries, no worries, Richard. What? You're the worst what? security guy ever. Boom. Thank you. Now we'll go rescue the hostages. And then we shall be done. There we go. Right. These lots are all down the bottom arguing because one of their guys just killed a scientist who called him a bigot. So they're all arguing, so they completely ignore us. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. Take your money, honey. 
Now we're about to climb over these guys. There they are. It's the terrorists down there. And in that room ahead of us is where all the... Well, not all of the staff, but most of the staff have been kept wired to a bomb. So I have to deactivate that. By the way, if you don't like, if you have air ventophobia, you won't like Deus Ex, because the way I play, I spend a lot of time hiding in air vents. Here we go. Alright. Oh, come on. Ink. Boom. Boom. Let's have a look. Down that way. I am the bomb squad, kind of. Thirty seconds. I think we should be safe. There we go. I'll quickly talk to Pritchard. Pritchard. I think there's something Sarah. around here. Found the hostages. I'm relaying good news. I hope. They're safe, and they're staying put. SWAT will have to expel them as soon as I've got the prototype. They're safe. Don't worry. But don't take too long. Greg, how's your missus doing? Listen up. Not clear, but those terrorists—they've got my wife. Your wife? They got my wife. I'll do my best. Yeah, Josie. Yes, you Don't worry, I'll do my best. I, they know Sometimes that's not good enough, but I will do it. Please. I know what a typhoon is. There we go. Right. And off we go. Right. We are at 16 minutes there. I will leave you guys in my air vent. And, uh, yeah, we shall stop it there. Hope you enjoyed this, guys. We shall reconvene and rescue the typhoon and will potentially kill Xander. But uh, catch you later, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Grim out.